my beautiful butterflies welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Beverly and it is lovely to see you today in this video we're going to be having a little sit down and a chit chat about white privilege and how to be a better ally so if you've um, been watching the news recently if you are not watching this in the future you're probably aware of what's prompted this video horrific things are going on in the judicial system in america people are being murdered because of the color of their skin here in england there is a lot of racism it's something where it's almost expected you hear it a lot and it's just like oh people are racist here okay kind of how we see it here and it, everything that's been going on kind of got me thinking about how I want to be a better ally I don't want to just be somebody who is not racist or who is anti-racist I want to be somebody who stands up when I see people saying things like I'm not racist but because I hear that a lot my husband used to go to a barber in our town where they would just have really openly racist, really horrible conversations, but he went there because it was cheap. He doesn't go there anymore. White privilege is having that choice. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. It's having the choice of whether you speak up or not. White privilege is being brought up, not having to worry about how you look, meaning whether you're going to get believed at the doctors or whether you're going to have a very short lifespan because of your access to healthcare or because of the area that you live in. That's what white privilege is. It's not having to worry about these things. Me and my husband talk very, very often about these subjects. He's a police officer and he is always trying to deprogram from society. And that's, that's the problem that we have. We're brought up to be racist people around us are racist and we say racist things without even really thinking about it and when you are against that white privilege is having that choice do I speak up in this room full of people do I speak up at work when I'm a police officer and people are saying racist things or making assumptions about people because of the color of their skin that's white privilege it's having that choice and for so many people at the moment we're coming to realise that that choice needs to be taken away. We need to stop having that choice. We need to stand up and say, you know what, I'm sick of this white privilege rubbish that is handed to me. I'm sick of every film I go and see having the white lead. I'm sick of, I'm sick of every TV show being about white things and having white actors in it and the only black or asian people that i see are the best friend or the enemy or the terrorist you know it's it's time that we stand up and be better allies and that is why i'm making this video because i wanted to talk about the things that i think can help make us a better ally and i want you to leave me comments telling me what books to read telling me how I can educate myself better, how I can support people better. People of colour need support and we as white people need to step up to the plate and teach each other. Don't expect people of colour to teach you how to be a better ally. It's up to us to say, you know what, I heard it's better to do this and somebody else can say, you know what, I heard it's better to do that because they have enough on their plate. <laughs> They are tired and it's time we take up some of the slack and help out a bit more and that's what I really wanted to talk about. So yeah, leave me comments down below of how you feel that I could be a better ally, how other white people can be better allies and yeah, make sure you're down, getting active in the comments, be respectful, be kind. So I wanted to talk first of all about how white privilege affects me because we can hear those two words and we can think white privilege yeah it's out there but do we really understand how it affects us like I'm a disabled woman and I have had the occasional doctor be a bit of a dick and not give me pain relief however I have access to better health care because I'm white I'm more likely to be believed when I say I'm in pain because I'm white which is crazy to me but it's true 
I'm more likely to have better education, I'm more likely to have gone to university or college, I'm more likely to have a good job, I'm more likely to live in a nicer area. Um, me personally, never had a bad experience with the police apart from that one time back when I was a kid. However, I'm not afraid of police, which is great. I want that for everyone. Police should be there to protect us and keep us safe. They should be there to make sure law is upheld in this world and that we're safe, right? That That's basically it. So why should anybody be afraid of them unless they've done something illegal? Better healthcare in general, better housing, better everything just because of the colour of my skin. If you don't believe me, do some Google searches, read some books and uh, yeah, educate yourself because it is true, sadly. It's very true. So all of these things that better me, that make my life better, I don't want to have less access to those things, but I do want everyone to have the same access to these things. And so I was thinking about you know how do we how do we change the narrative how do we change things because this has always been the way for generations and generations and generations like i was never taught about colonial colonialism i've never been able to say that word colonialism at school it wasn't taught it's something that i taught myself something that i learned about because my mom told me about it or my dad taught me about it but if i wasn't told those things I probably wouldn't understand what that means. Back in the Second World War, we were really, really proud of the fact that we owned two thirds of the world. England took over. We murdered people. We kicked out their government. We took over. They are under the Queen. <laughs> From Australia to India to America to all the places, we took over and we have made whole generations of people slaves we have taken over and i know i keep saying that but it just blows my mind to think it because we're such a small island right we're so small is it's just we're tiny like texas is bigger than us like uh, how did we take over the world i don't understand but we did we forced people to follow our religions we forced people to speak our language we belittled and killed people and took them slaves and made them live in places that they didn't even speak the language or understand people and then beat them for not doing what we wanted them to do. We did horrific, horrific things and yet we have the audacity to look down on Germany because of Hitler and the Nazis. It blows my mind and we need to change the narrative so it doesn't happen anymore. And that's by being a better ally. Being an ally, by the way, doesn't mean stepping in front of people of colour. They need to be heard. They've been silenced for too long. So we need to let them have a voice. And this video is not speaking for them. It's me trying to say, this is what I've learned and this is how you can be better. If you want to learn about how to be a better ally, you also have to learn about what people have been through. So read history books written by people of colour. Watch YouTube videos that are being put out at the moment by people of colour who are living through these things. Watch interviews with the family members of people who have been murdered and pay attention to what they're saying. They've been silenced for far too long. This video is not meant to be stepping in front of, and being an ally doesn't mean stepping in front of them and speaking for them. That's not what it's about, because that's the whole, we're white colonials, we're gonna come and save you kind of mentality that we have done for so long, and we need to stop that. We need to stop it. And the only way to do that is by being better allies. Being an ally is standing up beside them and speaking up when somebody says something horrible. When that family member starts a sentence with, I'm not racist but, you know that the next thing they're going to say is going to be racist. So speak up and say you do realise that what you're saying is racist. They might not realise because white privilege it's something they're taught, it's something we're brought up with, it's something that comes so naturally to us, it's like breathing. 
it's we don't even notice it around us and it's only by learning and listening to people of colour's experiences that we can then get better so I really want to say if you hear somebody say something like I'm not racist but by speaking up and saying you realize that's racist don't you it kind of has this kind of effect on people and it will in time start to drip feed into them just the same as white privilege and racism has drip fed into them and hopefully will start to change things by being honest and open and saying do you know what that makes me really uncomfortable do you mind if we talk about something else might just be enough to get people to do, change their mind if they persist be respectful don't shout don't argue just be honest and open by arguing and getting angry i feel like we're then pushing people away you don't want to do that you want to welcome people into being an ally with open arms and so come at it from an education standpoint if you can if you come across anything like articles pieces of research that back up the things that you're saying save them on your phone in a document or something so that you can say you know what actually i do have a piece of research or an article that you can read here I think that's really really important it's important to keep that conversation going by not shutting someone down but by pointing it out and trying to educate let's teach ourselves read books by black authors watch programs and documentaries by people of color watch youtube videos by people of color support other youtubers and authors and scientists and i don't know whatever you're interested in look for people of color diversify your instagram feed start following people who are not just the same color as you because i do think that the algorithm shows you people who are the same color as you do you ever find that like all my suggested people always white i have to go and physically look for people of color under my interests i don't know what that is if that's a thing that maybe i'm just crazy but it does feel like a thing is it a thing have you noticed that let me know down below but i definitely feel like that i feel like we need to read books by we need to watch tv shows by and starring we need to support black actors black directors black writers black youtube creators because it's only by diversifying the things that we learn and read the places we go on holiday you know it's these little things that go back to white privilege once again it was all just handed to us on the plate and it's time it changed it really is i feel like i've waffled a lot and i'm sorry uh this video is probably going to be much longer than i want it to be because I get very impassioned about this because I think it's so important that we be better we do better than we have in the past there have been riots in the past for men and women who have been murdered because of the colour of their skin and nothing's changed and it kind of it's in the news for a while and we all have protests and we all say how awful it is and then we move on to the next thing and it kind of gets forgotten and nothing changes we need to be better allies in the time between like yes be a good ally now it's important but everyone's talking about it now but it's after it's gone out of the news that it's important to do this so i will be trying to be better so if you know of ways that i can be better at being um, an ally definitely let me know down in the comments if you have any thoughts or feelings on things I've said if I've said anything incorrectly if I'm talking absolute rubbish and I think I'm being an ally and I'm in fact not point me in the right direction of places tell me be respectful but always I'm here to learn and grow every single day that's what I'm all about on this channel and in my life and I think it's by learning and growing continuously that we can be better people. So leave comments down below. Definitely let me know all your thoughts and feelings right down there. And while you're down there, why not leave me a cheeky little like if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something from this video, 
if you agree with what I said leave me a like so the algorithm picks it up and hopefully more people can learn how to be a better ally and can learn a little bit more about white privilege I will leave links down below to articles and people and channels and videos and things that I think you can take more information from um, places I've learned from I hope that you will continue to learn and grow with me and that we can keep this conversation going even when there isn't riots in the news be an ally every single day for everyone to be happy I don't understand why that's why that's something we have to fight for for people just to be treated with respect and to be happy why is why is that a thing I don't I don't understand <sighs> I'm exhausted and um I can't imagine how people of colour feel. <sighs> if you uh, got something out of this video, if you would like to support me as I move forwards with my channel and you enjoy disability, vintage fashion and spirituality and lifelong learning, if those are things that really fill you up with passion and happiness, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down there. I'm trying to grow my channel I would love to get to a thousand subscribers and I know a lot of you are watching my videos and are not subscribed so if you've watched to here and you enjoy me and the way I talk definitely hit that little subscribe button and ring that little bell so you always know when I upload I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays my health permitting I always do my very best to be here with you so I hope that you will stick around and enjoy my content don't forget to check out the description down below for more resources, videos, etc. Keep standing up, be an ally and um, let's change the narrative. Stay safe everyone and um, I'll see you next time. Bye!